Hello and welcome to DevSpot. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up router guards. Um, and to do that, we're going to use the Amplify uh, Authenticator. So we're going to set up an entire user pool, um, allow you to create your own account, and that'll give you access to certain routes that you want to protect. Um, and then on a side note, I just want to say thank you to the handful of you guys that have subscribed. Um, if you guys have anything that you've been wanting to learn, please drop a comment below um, and let me know uh, what you'd be interested in seeing. I wanted to um, put a post um, with like a poll or a, like allow you guys to kind of chat with me, um, but you actually can't do that until you have like something like a thousand subscribers. So um, yeah, please uh, leave some comments below on some stuff you guys would like to see. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and get set up with this. First, I'm going to start out um, by showing you how to set up Amplify um, and your Cognito user pool. Um, so this is just going to be installing um, a few different packages here. So the first thing we're going to want to install is uh, AWS Amplify and AWS Amplify View. So you can go ahead and type that in, so npm install, um, and then the packages. And I'm going to pause the recording of the video while it installs, and I will come back to you here in a second. OK, so those packages are, packages are installed. And then the next one we're going to want is the UI components. So we're going to head and install Amplify slash UI components. Um, I'm going to let this run and come back to you again. All right, that one was quick. So then we're actually going to want to use the AWS Amplify CLI. Um, and then this is going to allow us to um, configure all of our Cognito um, user pools um, and get everything pushed um, uh, to where they need to be in order for us to access them. So let's let this load up and then I will go ahead and show you the next steps. I'm going to probably block out some of the information just because I think it'll, it shows some of my AWS account information when you do this. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and get that set up for you. Okay, so then the next step, we're going to want to configure our Amplify here. So you just type Amplify Configure, and then this is going to walk you through the entire thing. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use um, pretty much all of the uh, default settings. So it, it just popped up in my browser. It popped up a sign-in for me. Um, I'll go ahead and sign in. And then it's going to take you to your AWS Management Console. And then you're going to want to follow the steps as it um, moves you along over there. Um, in this case, in the console over here, you can see that um, I signed in. I'm going to go ahead and press Enter. And then you're going to want to check which region you're in. I am currently in US East 2. And that's important because you're going to want all of your regions to match correctly. Um, and then this is going to walk you through setting up a new IAM user, and this is just going to allow you to have access to the um, user pool um, and give different permissions and uh, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and call this, uh, let's call it View Portfolio. And then this also just pops something else up in my browser. I'll see if I can pull this over so you can see it. Okay, yeah. So let's pull, oops. Let's go ahead and pull this tab over. Okay, so you can see we have username and view portfolio. Um, and here, let's see, so select AWS access type. Let's go ahead and give this, yes, an access key. And then we're going to go to the permissions. Uh, yep, we're going to give administrator ac access here. And you can always come back and change some of these settings as well. Uh, we're not going to go ahead and do that and create this user. Cool. So we have a new IAM um, user set up, and then we have our access keys and our secret key here. And that is important because once you click enter here, it's going to ask for that access key ID, which is right here. Let's go ahead and copy that, come back here, paste that, and then it's going to want to see our secret access key. Copy that, paste it here. And let's see, let's do updates. Okay, so let's go with view. We'll just create another uh, AWS profile, um, view portfolio. Let's go with the same name. Okay, great. So now we should have our Amplify configured. 
um, and the next spot is going to be um, initializing our Amplify project here. So we're going to type in Amplify in it. And then we're going to enter a name. We're going to call it, we'll just call it everything View Portfolio, just to keep it simple. Oh, I guess it doesn't like the hash there. Okay. And then it, you can see here, so it knows um, it'll pull in um, our default editor here. This is all just um, basic settings here, and we're going to say, yeah, that's fine, because everything will work with all the default settings. Use the AWS profile. Let's go down and select the profile that we just set up. And then it's going to set up everything um, and get our project up and running. So after this step, I will come back to you. Okay, so now that step is done, we're going to want to add um, authentication here. So we're going to have amplify add auth. And this is also going to install some more packages for us. This one should be quick. Um, we're going to go with the default configuration. Um, and then it's asking, how do you want users to be able to sign in? Uh, let's, let's have it set up with a username. And no, we're not going to get into the advanced settings here. We're just going to stick with all the defaults. Um, it's good enough for just this, this project. So now that that is set up, the last step here is to push um, all of this. So you're going to type amplify push. So once this step is done, you're actually going to be able to see um, everything set up in your AWS account, which once that um, has run its course, I will pull up that information for you and show you how to access all of that. Um, so then you get, you can see there, so it'll add the resource name there, auth category, we're creating it, um, and just type in Y there, yes. All right, there we go. So now all of the resources are updated in the cloud. So now if you go ahead and go to your AWS account, you can go ahead and type in Cognito, go to Cognito, manage your user pools, and then you're going to see we have a view portfolio user pool here that we just set up. And you can, and when, when you're using this in your project, you can actually see all of the different accounts that are created. So here we have nobody um, in our user pool yet. So the next step is going to be setting up the authenticator in our um, application here. So um, that will be the next step here. So let's get into it. So what we're going to do is in our components folder here, let's go ahead and create a, we'll just call it auth and template here. I'm just going to set up kind of a basic component here that we can um, redirect to and then in our router here so if you ha if you have no idea what's going on right now I have posted a few videos setting up view router um, uh, what else uh, connecting things to um, uh, like a DynamoDB um, Lambda functions and everything like that so then you can actually learn how to do that so if you just look at my um, profile you'll be able to see those anyways so we're gonna set up another path here um, let's call this path um, slash auth. Uh, we'll give it a name of auth, and the component is auth again. Let's go ahead and import that. We'll just copy that. Oops. Import auth from components slash auth. Okay. So now we should have our route set up for this. So let's go to slash auth. There we go. So we can see that the header from our auth component is being rendered. Um, it's also still, still rendering our entire app.view, but that's fine. So let's go ahead and import some of our um, Amplify settings here and get this set up. So the first step here is actually going to um, be come over to your main.js here, and we are going to want to import our Amplify settings here. So import uh, Amplify from AWS Amplify and import AWS config, oops, AWS config from slash AWS export. And then 
the final thing we need to add is amplify.configure. And we're going to use our config there to configure that. Okay, sweet. So let's save this. Okay, that should be good to go. And then let's come back to our auth.view here and let's get our authenticator here set up. Actually, before we do that, I forgot to import one more thing here. So we're going to want to import the UI components. So let's actually, let's import a few things here. So we're going to want to import apply polyfills define custom elements and this will be from at AWS Amplify UI components slash loader and then right below this let's go ahead and do apply polyfills arrow function here that is going to set the custom elements define custom elements window and go ahead and save that mm -hmm. oh. probably want to not have a typo there Jeez, I don't know what I was just doing. I think I just had a massive brain fart. I typed amplify polyfills. It's apply polyfills. All right. There we go. That's looking a little better. Okay, so then if we come over to our auth.view, you can see here that I set up the amplify authenticator. So this is going to allow us to have access to an entire um, kind of authentication workflow here. So people are able to create accounts, you're able to sign in, you can reset your password from here, um, and this is all currently, this is functional right now, so I'll show you. So if we go to create account, we'll call this one, um, let's call this, we'll call this admin, okay? We'll give it a password, um, and I'll put in my email currently, and create account. Okay, so now that I sent this out there, I should be receiving an email with the um, confirm signup. So let me get that really quick. Go to my Gmail. Okay, I don't know why this is taking so long. So for the sake of time, you can actually go into your um, user pool here. Let's refresh this. And there we go. You can see that we have our admin account set up. Um, and you can go ahead and confirm this account from within your um, user pool here. So there we go. We have a confirmed admin account. Pretty sweet. So let's check out what happens when we sign in. So if I type admin, type in whatever password you set up. Look at that. You're able to sign in it's going to ask for verification um, that's currently not working but yeah so we're able to sign in um, and you can use uh, the amplify hub you can look for uh, ui state changes um, which i'm going to show you next um, and that's going to allow us to add the router guard to our post project um, resource there so that'll be the next step so to begin setting up our router guards we're going to go back to our router index.js and in our, uh, I guess actually, let me show you here. So we have a post endpoint here that allows us to update our project title card down there. Um, and let's say you obviously don't want people to be posting random things to your title cards down here. So let's add some authentication to this route. Um, so to do that, we can add a meta tag here and we're gonna set, um, Let's think of an example here. Let's go, we'll just say auth. So the meta tag is going to check if our auth is true. So if auth is true, when it checks the route, it's going to um, call a different router method that will run before the component is loaded. So in the example I'm gonna show you, um, it's going to be the router before resolve. Um, so it's gonna call um, our 
Amplify authentication method before the component is loaded. If the user is signed in, then it'll take you to um, to our post here. If the user is not signed in, it'll take you to our auth component. Require them to sign in. Once they sign in, it'll redirect to the post. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's go ahead and set that up. So the first thing we're going to do um, is come down here and let's go ahead and type router before resolve. And there's a few different things that you can add to this. So um, we're gonna have two from and next. I'm actually not gonna use the from, but I'm gonna leave it in there. Um, and I'm gonna, I'll explain what each of those does here in a second. Uh, let's have an arrow function here. And if, so to check um, if our route has a meta tag or not, we're going to access our two here. Um, and to explain what the two is, so the two is the target route location, okay? So when we're trying to go to post, it's going to look at our route here, say, oh, hey, it has a meta tag with the um, authentication is set to true. So, hey, we gotta run this function. So I'll show you that here. So if two dot, um, if two dot meta, get back in here, two dot meta dot auth, so if that is true, let's just console log something here just to show that it's working. So this route is protected. Save that. All right. Oh, duh. So we didn't use these yet. I'll just get rid of these for a second. Okay. So let's open our console here. Just make this responsive so I can make it a little. I don't know why it's looking so terrible. Anyways, let's go to our console here. You can see that when we call this route, it says this route is protected. So let me actually. So let's go back to our homepage. Boom. So when somebody visits the path, um, this is what shows up. This path isn't protected, so it doesn't say that. Let's go to slash post. Before it comes to post, it's gonna run this function here. It's gonna say, hey, this route is protected. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, so if this is the case, we're going to call our view authentication method um, that is going to actually be protecting our route for us, okay? So let's bring back in our from and next. And in this, um, if two dot meta dot auth, we're going to actually need to import um, amplifies authentication. So let's import. Oh my goodness! Let's import auth. Ooh, hopefully that naming up there didn't screw everything up. We'll see. From AWS amplify. It probably will, but we'll see. Okay. So then down in our if statement here, we're going to check if the user is signed in or not. So auth, and you can use the current, okay, yeah. So I think that's gonna be no good. So let me actually rename some of these things and come back to you. Okay, so all I did was just rename this to auth component. So back to our if statement here. So you have auth, and we're going to wanna check the current authenticated user. And this is, oh geez, not what we wanted. Current authenticated user, why does it keep, all right, whatever, I'll just type the entire thing then. Current authent, authenticated user. And this is a promise that will return true if, that, if the person is signed in. If they're not, we will use the catch to redirect to the login page, okay? So we have the current authenticated user dot then and within then, let's call, oops, let's say next. And this next here is just gonna allow the person to be redirected um, to the endpoint that they were trying to reach because if, if this is the case, this means that the person is currently signed in and they should be allowed to make posts on our um, portfolio here. And if they're not signed in, 
then that is where the redirection comes into place. Oops. Gosh, I have a microphone in my I need a, ugh, the microphone in my face and it's hard to <laughs> see my keyboard. Um, okay, so we are going to console log just to kind of show that everything is working here. The user is not authenticated. And the next is going to be, instead of just having a plain next there, we're going to reset that path to be our login path, uh, which in our case is actually off. So let's set the path to off. Okay. And then if none of this is the case, we're going to want to just um, allow them to redirect because this is the only protected route that we have. So if anything else, then we're just going to allow them to go to the next one. Perfect. So let's save this. And let's see um, how everything is working here. Okay, so we are at our homepage here. But let's say, hey, you made a cool project, you made another video, whatever you want. Like you could be using this as a blog, for example. Um, let's say you created a new thing, you want to put it on your website. You can go to slash post. It's going to run this. It'll say, hey, this route's protected. Let's go ahead and run this. If this is true, then they're allowed to go through. If it's not, we're going to redirect them to the auth. Um, currently, the user is signed in. So let's actually sign out and see if it redirects us to our auth page. So to actually be able to sign out, we're going to have to set up um, a few different things here. So similar to our index.js here, we're going to want to use the AWS Amplify auth library. Let's pull that in. Okay. And then when the component is mounted, I'm going to call the auth current authenticated user. Like so. Actually, let's set up let's set up our data object here. Oops. And this will be authenticated. False. Set that to false. Finish this. See, I forgot the arrow there. So let's go with, I'm gonna stick with mounted. Save this, reload this, and let's do. Okay, so to actually get the signout feature, you need to use the Amplify signout component. Uh, we're gonna render it if authenticated is true. Okay, so let's save this. There we go. So currently we are authenticated. Um, and it's going to show this sign out and then let's go ahead and click the sign out. It'll get rid of, oh, I actually didn't get rid of the sign out. Uh, either way, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to see that we can um, now sign in again. So let's go ahead and see if we go to our post. We'll see if that redirects us back to our auth. And there we go. You can see it said, hey, whoa, this, this route is protected. The user is not authenticated. We're going to come back and make you sign in before you can actually access um, that post page. So there you go. That's a protected route. But now you're going to be wondering, well, hey, what when I sign in, for example, let's sign in. Skip this. Nothing happened. Didn't take me to the correct page. We actually want that sign in to redirect us um, to the post page. So that'll be the next step. So to do that, we're going to use the hub, which we're also going to import from AWS Amplify. And let's go. So 
So under here, let's go with hub. And we're going to use the listen. And we're going to be listening for authentication. And this is going to have a data. And let's use a switch case here. So let's go switch on a data event. So this will be data payload event. And let's we're looking to see if the case is that we have signed in. So that would be um, sign in. And if that is the case, let's go ahead. Let's console log. Um, let's say user signed in and to actually get this um, to push us to our post page we're going to use um, router.push so to use that you're going to go router.push and we want to go to auth so we're going to router.push auth okay and then let's break out of this switch case statement save that and let's see if this is going to go ahead and work for us so I don't need to save that okay so let's refresh <laughs> let's sign out completely so let's try to go to our post here nope redirects back to auth perfect let's sign in You can see the user signed in. We're going to skip this verification. And hmm. Oh, duh. OK, that was dumb. So <laughs> OK, so we were authenticated. And then I pushed to auth for some reason. That made no sense. Sorry if you were screaming at the screen there saying, hey, why are we going to auth? We wanted to redirect to post if they're signed in. Let's try that again. So let's sign out. Refresh it. <clears throat> okay, so we go to post. We're denied, it's protected. Let's sign in. Not adding up. God damn. Admin. There we go. And fuck. There. Password set. Sign in. Great. Let's try that again. And there we go. So you're signed in. It's going to go ahead and push us to our post here. And then we can go ahead and use this, um, how we did in our previous projects, to set up um, different project cards down there. So um, yeah, I mean, that's the very, very basics of it. But you can go ahead. So you can dig in here and um, set different um, items here. So let's say you wanted this sign out feature um, to be in our post page here. Um, it's super simple. You can just do it the same way that we did it here, um, and everything is global, so it would all work together. So if you had a sign out um, component within our post page here, it would sign you out, and then you could have them redirect back to um, whatever page. Like um, it's pretty basic in that way. You're just listening for different authentication events. Um, so you can use the hub to do that. You can use the amplify authentication to get the current users. Um, yeah. So that is the basics of creating a protected um, route here in view. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, if you found this helpful, um, please do subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, and like I said in the beginning of the video, if you have some things that you'd really like to learn, anything related to web development, software development, um, please drop a comment. Um, I'm looking for some more ideas on content to put out. So if you guys have stuff that you're curious about, let me know. Um, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.